Hey, what's up, Sussex Squad? How y'all doing today? And yes, baby, this is going to be a heavy upload day. You guys, what is going on with the palace? Baby, you know they started the heroes. You know this channel, along with a lot of people on Twitter, were saying, where is Kate? We have been keeping a countdown. It is now going on, what, 153 days? And these fools literally said, you know what? The fake pics didn't work. The fake video didn't work. You know what? Let's have Kate's new role be ghost producer. The chemotherapy patient who is unlike any other chemotherapy patient in the world, which is the fact that she is doing very well, according to William, right? But yet she is so sick, she cannot show her face, who likes to swim alone at night, who can't be seen in public, and is too weak to do anything. You guys, before you even start, I have heard the rumors about her condition. We'll talk about that in a another video. And I already am on the Rose and Camilla stuff. When I said this was going to be a heavy upload day, I meant it was going to be a heavily upload day. So all this is going on. And there, her new position is ghost producer, executive ghost on what? These British royals are out of their mind. At this point, everybody should be alarmed. You guys, they saw people saying, where is Kate? They knew they couldn't do another video because we pick it apart and they're stupid and they can't pay anybody to do a job and make a convincing deep fake, right? They need to link up with North Korea because they seem to be doing a good job, right? They realized they couldn't put out any more photos. So what are they doing now? They're creating ghost positions. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you the UK, the Royal Palace's next excuse on why we don't see Kate for a four, for 12 fortnights. Because she is busy working behind the scenes on a phantom YouTube project. Now, to be real, the YouTube project actually exists. However, Kate's role in it. Well, let's just get into uh, these stories. You guys also hit the like button. I'm really trying to grow this year. Um, I have a lot of cool things in store for people. Ada, ada, ada. Please hit the like button. And if you are always visiting me, turn subscribe and turn those notifications on. Okay? Okay. So here we go. Kate, and I have to laugh about this, right? Kate is going to, has announced her first official project as a Princess of Wales since taking a break from public life following abdominal surgery and a cancer diagnosis. Okay, um, let's get into this. They are saying that Kate uh, is going to be the queen of social media. She is taking over YouTube. And as a YouTuber, I don't know, Gold, Gold Nugget on Twitter says, like I said, the palace is monitoring tweets about Karen on social media. That's their code name for Kate. They see the questions about her whereabouts getting traction again. They have zero explanation for her complete disappearance. So the panic has set in. Can someone send a link of the video announcement? There is no video announcement. They're saying she's announcing, but there's no video, right? They said, and this is important. While Kate does not appear in the 10 minute YouTube film, which is now streaming on YouTube, the project was produced with the guidance of the prince and princess through the Duchy of Cornwall. So let me get this straight. Kate was not involved in the project at all. She did not talk to anybody. She did not supervise. She did not even reach out and say, hey, I'd like to do this. Kate is none. All they did was slap, not even Kate's name on it, but the Duchy or Cornwall, I think, financed this phantom 10-minute video, right? Which I'm sure is about something stupid. And said Kate's first project since then. So you're telling me now that it, first of all, even if we believe this, you're telling me now that it counts as work to take something that's already completed that you had no thing in and slap your name on it, and that counts as your working hours? On top of that, is this the way you truly plan to make everybody quiet down? Zandy Sussex on Twitter also said, oops, here we go again. Fake Kate is back with a fake announcement about a phantom project. Remember, the woman hasn't been seen since December 25th. Also, 
Uh, believe anything from Kensington and Powell's and Sky News Australia at your own peril. Interesting enough, Sky News put together a timeline of where Kate's been sometime last week. And now they're running this. Again, Sky News is saying Princess Catherine unveils new trailer for mental health film and first project since Royal shock cancer diagnosis. She's announced her first official project as Princess of Wales since taking a break from public life following abdominal surgery and a cancer diagnosis. You guys, how dumb do they think we are? How dumb? Karma's granddaughter had a good point. She said, every time Where's Kate Middleton starts to trend, the royal family puts out news about Kate Middleton that cannot be authenticated or verified. In the last eight hours, they started to say Kate launched a mental health project video, but does not appear in it. She did not just not appear in it. She had no connection to it, except for slapping her name on it. Get this, the Duchy Council, called the Princess Council, meets twice a year and is chaired by William, who inherited the Duchy from his father when Charles became king and in turn took over the largey Duchy of Lancaster instead. So this is through a group that works for William, which I guess you could say it works for Kate, but they have no involvement at all. Again, the palace literally made up a fake project and then we released the said state project and she was nowhere in sight she didn't even do a voiceover and then had the nerve to say don't worry she oversaw the creation of a 10-minute youtube video i mean technically you can count that as progress uh, uh progress at least they gave up on pictures of the fake kate ai uh, thing right but i do want to say this you guys all jokes aside, I'm going to jump into the comments really quick and hear what the Twitter streets are saying. But you guys, we have to affect, uh, accept the fact that there is something gravely wrong with Kate. As much as I think they want to be able to hide behind cancer, we all know someone that has suffered from cancer. Unless you are on your deathbed, you shop, you do groceries, you live your life, people see you. Your hair falls out, there are very good wigs. Kate can afford the finest wig. You cannot tell me that when Harry and Meghan were dominating the news media, if Kate could have found a way to get sympathy play. And when I say Kate, I'm talking about Kenzie and Palace because they love using Kate as Foster. If they could find a way to get a sympathy play, if they could find a way to get a sympathy play, if they could find a way to step on the news cycle with Kate even showing half her face would break the internet. It would shut down the conspiracies that they like to call. It would shut down the naysayers. It would make everybody completely back off and it would literally take the focus off of whatever Harry and Meghan do. Every time Harry and Meghan breathe, which we know the policy is obsessed with stepping on their news cycle and bringing them to hill, Kate would just have to cough and the whole world would be like, oh my God, Kate, 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 how are you? The fact that they are not doing this, the fact that Beatrice picked up her royal duties, the fact that all this stuff is going on, you guys, there is something seriously, and when I say seriously, I mean seriously wrong with Kate. We have to start asking ourselves, is Kate, all these reports, is she truly in a vegetative state? Is she on her deathbed? Or worse, yes, yet has she already transcended? Did William, did Harry fly over to the UK at the last minute to really be with his dad? Or did he call, did he fly over to pay his respects? Rose Hannaberry is being trotted out. Camilla is making sure Rose stays close by her. You guys, something is going on. 